Hey guys, what it do? It's your boy Supreme Chia the God. Now listen, everybody keeps talking and raving about is Gojo coming back? Is he alive? Is he blah 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 blah? Well, I'm here to tell you that even though if you accept that he got dissected and that he's no longer coming back in the story, that or either that or you think that he's alive or whatever, it's irrelevant because Gojo never died in the first place. No matter what, Gojo will not die. The only way Gojo dies, well, we'll find out later. But first, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. There's a kid by the name of Megumi whose father got murdered by Gojo. But Gojo did not do this just willy-nilly. He did do it out of revenge because he failed to protect the star plasma vessel. But, it, you know, you can argue that Toji deserved it. Gojo went out of his way to find him and take him down. Straight after, he went to the religious fanatics who wanted the death of the star plasma vessel so that Tengen can continue to evolve. And he was ready to eliminate every single member. But he asked a friend of his, Yo, should I just kill everyone here? And his dear friend looked at him and said, Don't. And Gojo walked away from that reborn into a new being his rebirth truly happened at that moment and he decided to be different before he looked down on the weak he couldn't understand it these are just ants nothing he could have been the next calamity he could have been sukuna in the modern age and let me tell you something if gojo went ahead and became like sukuna the story doesn't happen because he would kill every single person. In fact, I could see him purposely feeding Yuji Sukuna so that he could fight him. How interesting. How easily the tables could have turned. But that is not the Gojo we got. We got the sensei. The one who cares for his students. The one who protects the weak. The one who's willing to expend all of his energy to find a way to save the people he cares about. The one who could have easily defeated everyone on underground the, the Shibuya incident. Easily. By simply opening his domain and killing every curse in there. Decided, I can, I can allow people die. As long as my action didn't cause them to die. Directly. But I cannot be the cause of their death. I cannot be my power and my ability and my hands that soaks in their blood. But I can accept them dying around me. And that is that fundamental difference right there. If he was the Gojo that decided to kill all of those religious fanatics. He murks everybody in there. And not give a damn about the people that die. Due to the calamity caused by him. He would have become the calamity himself. But this right here is important. This right here is how we have Yuji. Is how we have Yuta, is how we have Maki, is how we have to a smaller degree. It's how we have all of the young kids and it's how we have Megumi and not, not to a smaller degree, to a massive degree is why we have Megumi. To a smaller degree is why we have Akari because he didn't really have that much direct contact with Gojo but yet gojo always spoke of him in a certain way so obviously they knew each other um and it's important here because as long as yuta is alive which we don't know at this moment gojo can never die because his ideology his belief his the core values not the being the strongest stuff not his arrogance but the core value of teams you're right because he wanted to build a team of people strong Rather than just everybody relying on one person. And look at look at the fight. Look at the fight against Sukuna and how it's going. They all pulled up as a team. Gojo fought by himself because that's how he was. He was lonely. He did not want the same loneliness to be there for any of his students. Alright? So a lot of people are like, he only gets people because they're strong. Yes, he does. 
but he gets them because they're strong and then he puts them around others who are strong so that they are not alone there's no loneliness in their strength sukuna won't admit it but there is loneliness in his strength but he just finds entertainment in other means right he enjoys the thrill of the battle right he doesn't accept that loneliness he rejects it gojo gojo wallowed in that loneliness he lived in it and he died by it but his students are not taking the same route eno you seen eno eno the guy that were like man this guy ain't got no sauce has been so pivotal in this fight in these key moments where he distracts sukuna he like even though he has no chance no hope he always jumps in ready to fight he didn't say i'ma just leave this to you tanko he didn't say i'ma just leave this to you jenko he said i'ma be there i'm gonna be there remember they said if you do not have rct maybe you shouldn't join this battle you know has none of this shit and he pulls up with a shiesty bro with a shiesty with a shiesty bro 10 toes down bro ready to ready to, ready to battle ready to rumble consistently always as long as Eno lives, Gojo lives. God damn it, man. Respect to Eno, bro. We got Ui Ui and crew helping. Gojo went ahead and bought their goddamn loyalty. You know what I'm saying? He bought their loyalty because he knew he wanted to make sure his students have 100% certainty of winning. You notice, even in his afterlife, he had no, like, he, he even though he was uncertain that he might win, there was zero, and I mean zero thought of my students will lose. It never occurred to him. That did not exist. He had more faith in them than he had in himself. He believed 110 million percent that his kids will find a way to defeat Sukuna because he knew deep down these kids are not only as talented as me, but they will break the idea of special grade. They will go beyond all of these Jesusu systems set up to 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 prop up certain families and to crush down and step on others he believed that whole heartily and these kids are the embodiment of that they are the embodiment of gojo's dream of gojo's ideal and they are living it by working as a team you saw how yuta and yuji was piecing off piecing up goddamn sukuna you saw how maki be pulling up surviving black flashes you see what these kids are doing man They are doing sensational things. And as long as they, heck, any single one of them, I need more than one to survive, but any single one of them survives, Gojo never died. And that's really it, man. It's been a boy's... It's been a boy's... Make sure you leave a comment, subscribe.